Hello, my name is Paul Hunker. I'm a consultant. I work for Yokogawa and for the OPC Foundation. Today I'm here to discuss MDIS. So what is MDIS? MDIS is an OPC UA standard for oil and gas platforms. It provides an interface between the topside controls and the subsea controls that are present on a platform. These controls are typically provided by multiple vendors. And the key challenge here always has been the integration of these two diverse systems. Operating companies wanted to standardize this interface, communication interface between the subsea gateway and the MCS to the DCS systems. Who is MDIS? MDIS is a grouping of major oil companies, DCS vendors, and subsea vendors. These Groups are equally represented and worked on creating the MDIS standard. What was the goal of MDIS? It was to reduce the engineering and testing costs associated with these platforms. Uh, they want to do this via standardizing the interface and the information model. MDIS evaluated a large number of protocols. They chose OPC UA as the best protocol for doing this. We've been working a long time on this. Uh, we've had a number of releases, so currently we're on release 1.03. We've had a lot of interoperability events to check and confirm and even showcase the functionality that MDIS provides. And currently there are uh, quite a few projects out there utilizing MDIS. It provides a full information model. This includes support for object types, variable types, data types, and even methods that provide interaction between the objects. Some of the objects in MDIS are very customized to the subsea venue, such as a valve, which is a very slow, large object. Uh, it includes interlocking capabilities. It includes signatures and profiles that are needed for, for judging if the valve motion is correct. The MDIS specification also includes interactions between all of the subsea systems and valves. So this is the client and server interaction that's required. It includes redundancy. The other key concept in MDIS is the utilization of standard OPC UA node sets. A, a node set in OPC UA is the, the, an XML representation of the information model in a server. In MDIS, the servers are the subsea systems, and the clients are DCS systems. And this usually requires a great deal of configuration work, manual configuration work, to ensure that the DCS system has the same data and is looking at all the data in the server. Uh, the use of node set files, which are then consumed by the client tools, and auto configuration of the, no of the configuration for the DCS, greatly reduces testing costs, greatly reduces engineering costs, because there are no errors for data entry. This is just what was provided. MDIS provides a full certification program via the OPC Foundation. This includes a complete check of the MDIS specification, all aspects of it. it the MDIS organization defined test cases and provided the test enhancements to the OPC Foundation CTT test tool, so that all the automated testing and, and scripting is available. This results in a certification logo from the OPC Foundation. Another key item in the MDIS specification is a recommended practice section. This is a section for the operators and how the operators should specify the, the MDIS or require the MDIS via a bid proposal what items are included, what things can be specified, and what should be specified via recommendations. MDIS is also recommended by API 17F, which is the oil and gas standard specification. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me.